Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 4 of this building. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to start the second floor. We added um, all the walls and then doors and then room tags. Now we're going to add in the floor. So we're going to click on floor. And I'm going to choose pick line. And we're going to use floor number one as well. Now I'm going to choose the inside of the wall. And then here, we're going to go here as well. We're going to fix all of that later on. We just need to click on the interior first. And then trim it later on. Now we're finished. We could just trim. So that will be TR. Let's trim it here as well. And also here. Let's see if everything is done. So click finish. And it looks like um, we trim everything up. Now it looks like that. Then we will need to go back to level 2. And then we could start our level 3. This will be our typical. So under typical, um, we will need to show them. So we could go to un underlay. And then click on level 2. Down. And then range of top, level 3. Here, what we're going to do is, so we put that one. But as you can see, our horizontal elevation is, um, our horizontal grid lines are not showing. That's because uh, we need to inspect all our elevation. So what you do is you need to go individually to elevations. And as you can see, what we need to do is just fix this. So we're going to move it on the right side. And then here, we just need to extend this up. So now it will, um, Revit will see that. So this one is fixed, the south elevation the north as well and then the east it's are also fixed now that we fix that if we check level 3 as you can see it will appear as well so you just need to extend those fix those so that all your grid lines will be shown so now that um, everything is shown uh, what we could do uh, we are also have our underlay to level 2. Um, we just need that so that we could create the layout of our building. And then we're going to go from number 1 to 7. And then um, it will be A to G. So that's our um, building. So we just need to do this and then we're golden. So click on wall and then let's use exterior wall number one and we could do a rectangle. So A1 and then all the way to G7. So this is 7. We just need to go to G7 all the way right here. And this will be 3000 millimeters or 3 meters because from level 3 to 4 is 3000 only. So now that this is done, what we can do is we could uh, click on wall again. This will be interior wall. We just need to do the um, st 
stairs and the uh, elevator. So we just need to do this. Let's use rectangle as well. It's much easier. So that's done with this. We could just put it in course and then see as this. Let's add in the dividing walls for this. So this will be our typical um, floor plan, which we're going to um, copy all throughout. So after that, let's do another rectangle, CS, but all throughout. So this will be 2000 on all this, um, all around this elevator elevation. So we're going to put 2000 right here, 2000 here as well, and then here as well, and then right here. Okay, so 2000 all, uh, all around. After that, we could basically um, remove our underlay. So you could go to your properties, press escape first, and then now put it to none. We don't need uh, those distractions anymore. And then we could extend all this. And then here, um, we might pull this up later on. So this is not fixed yet, but I'm just letting you know. So CS here, we're just going to create one on this side first, just we could always uh, mirror it. So I'm just going to pull this one all the way in the middle. And then that's after that, we will need to extend some right here on the side and then divide it as well so here i'm going to move this all the way right here so i'm um, um, let's do one side first and then we can mirror all the walls later on let's add the door as well so that it's easier for us to do make sure everything is connected so let's do this and do that as well so here let's extend this right here so that's good after that i'm gonna extend this one here um we should extend this to 2500 so let's extend that to 2500 i'm going to extend this wall right here and we're going to close this off. Okay. And then we could add or divide this wall in the middle. Like that. This will be the garbage. Okay. This will be for this part and this side as well. So let's focus on this one. Add this wall like here. Press escape. And then here just type in 4000. Or 4200. Sorry. So we have this 4200. Now let's add in more walls. This is around thirty two hundred. 
Okay. And then we will have a washroom right here as well. So CS washroom right here. Two thousand is enough. And then we could place this enough for door as well. And then for the width here, let's do thirty-five hundred. Okay, we could extend this one all the way down. And then here, what we could do is we could just move this one. Um, let's put this one around eighty five hundred for now. So from there, eighty five hundred from here. So around halfway off F and G. Okay, and then we're gonna add in some fixtures as well. And then we're just going to mirror it afterwards. Maybe we uh, we should do that now so that you can see the difference. So let's go to the main and then add in plumbing, architecture, fixtures. But tub, let's add in some tub. Let's add this CM, and then let's add it right here and right here. Load more so that we could just keep on copying urinal, not urinal. Uh, Water closet, domestic toilet, CM, like that, and then right here, and then sink. Let's add this single CM again, and let's just add it right here. And then right here. Instead of this one, let's change this up. Let's use the vanity. And then we could just select both of them and look for the vanity. So that's much better. We could just move it like that. And then CS here again on 2000 will be good. And then here we could just add this and then for another interior wall, add it. Duplicate. This will be turn num wall number two. Let's leave it as clad white, but let's put it at 100. This is for the closet. So let's change this to one again. And then click on wall. Change this to number two. And then here we could add in closet. around 800 and then all the way there this will be another uh, another wall as well what we could do is we could exchange this so I'm gonna delete this we're going to pick another host let's move it right here 
and then just move this around and then let's use this cs and then this will be um, closet for the uh, laundry And then here, this will be the bedroom with the access for this. Um, let's add in some doors so that it looks proper. So insert load family. Let's add in a proper door. So let's go to main door again. Let's use our residential door. So let's use this. And let's load everything. Continue. And then click on door. Let's change this to 750 by 2000. Let's flip this around. This will be for everybody. And then let's click this right here. right here and then right here for the door this will be a room here and then let's load in the um, sliding door this will be good let's load everything hold on shift and click on the bottom and then press ok and then now we could load or we could click on door. Let's add this one and then add this one for the um, laundry. Let's add a closet right here as well. CS. And then let's add this one as a closet. Let's move this one like that. And then click on door again. And let's add this one right here. There we go. So that, that looks good. And then we will have the kitchen right here and then the living room. So let's add in. So I'm going to insert load family. Let's add in some beds. So go to the main furniture and let's add in some bed. Bed box will be good enough. CM. I have this double bed right here would be fine. And then CM again. Let's add this. We could change this to queen and go back to um, annotate and let's add in detailed lines. Let's change this to demolish. We're going to add this in right here for our closet. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to annotate again, detailed line, use um, let's maybe use, let's go back to actually insert. I believe we could add in the combo, washer and dryer combo. 
So go back to main, specialty equipment, domestic, high end. And then we have, I think it's not in the high end, it's in the mid range. Washer and dryer combo open. And then CM. And we have this one, this combo right here. So we could add in electric electrical panel panel here and then the washer and dryer as well. So that will be good. Like that. So this looks good. I'm also going to add in the doors right here. And then I'm going to use this wall. This is for the garbage chute. And then let's add in the door here for the elevator. And then let's click on annotate. Make sure this is thin line. And let's put in X. Here as well. Okay, so let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.